एक शदीद झटका और हुआ है उस तरह जिस तरह जी पखा नहीं चलता है इस तरह हम चल रहे थे किसी कुछ समझ नहीं आ रहा था क्या हो गया क्या मत जिस तरह क्या मत शुक्र हो गई तो फिर मेरे नीचे गिरा तो एकदम ऊपर से जो है ना हमारे भी जो है मकान गिर गया बुनियादे में उनकी अलगी तो मेरी टांग के ऊपर बीमा कर लगा है ना तो मेरी जो है ये टांग जी मौके पर जुदा हुई थी फिर कोई निकालने का कोई रास्ता नहीं था कोई आदमी भी नहीं था फिर दूसरे दिन कुछ ना कुछ इमदादी टीमें आ गई कुछ लोग आ गए मानसहरे से लोग चले गए उन लोगों ने उठाकर हमें मानसहरा तक पहुँचाया फिर उन्होंने हमको पेशावर रेफर कर दिया पेशावर में हम तकरीबन रहे साढ़े छः माह तो वो जो उन्होंने अस्पताल वालों ने जो हम जदला जदगान के मरीज थे ना उनको टांगे लगाई थी वो वो किसी भी काम नहीं कर रही थी तो फिर हम मानसहर आ गए एक सेंटर का पता चला Mohammad Safda, a resident of Balakot, embraced a disastrous earthquake on October the 8th, 2005 in Pakistan, which took the life of his precious baby girl who was only 2 months old and severed his leg and left his wife's arm severely injured. This is the tragic tale of one person who suffered at the hands of this natural disaster out of thousands who suffered far worse a fate. Survivors still remember the sudden loss of their loved ones on that fateful day. Those who survived with only their lives lost more than their homes, their family members, and their way of life. Many escaped the brutal savageness maimed and marred for life with physical disabilities which meant that a physical rehabilitation center became of prime importance in this area. Since its inception, Helping Hand for Relief and Development embarked on delivering physical rehabilitation services, physiotherapy, occupational therapy, orthotics, and prosthetics all under one roof. We were able to acquire the services of uh, very dedicated physical rehab professionals like physiotherapists, occupational therapist there was actually no occupational therapist anywhere in the entire region including the rest of the khyber pakhtunkhwa and we were able to hire a, an occupational therapist from karachi and she was very very cooperative and very um, helpful to develop our occupational therapy department and that's why we were able to extend our services even to uh, kids who are born with disabilities we started our services with the low cost local material so we did not spend really um, uh, the amount of money which other organizations usually spend in in such cases this is the one and the same muhammad safdar whose dreams of returning to a normal life had been shattered after getting his prosthetic limb at helping hands rehab center safdar quickly returned to a life of normalcy His daily routine while leading a normal life is hampered by his disability. He travels from one place to another on his own without anyone's physical support. With his prosthetic leg, he's been freed from his physical impairment and able to live an active life, work and support his family without reliance on anyone else. वेलपे गए मैं आप जब गए ना तो उन्होंने हमारे जो हम दो तीन मरीज थे उन्होंने हमको चेकअप किया एक माह के अंदर अंदर उन्होंने हमारे जो है ना नई टांगें लगाई उसके साथ इन शाला अलहमदिल्ला अच्छे चल फिर सकते हैं अभी मैं आपके सामने जो हूँ काम भी करता हूँ दुकान भी करता हूँ सुबह घर से पैदल आता हूँ पैदल घर को जाता हूँ और जो मामूलती ज़िंदगी होते हैं उनको मैं इन शाला रिलेक्स करता हूँ अच्छी तरह वक्त गुजरते हैं
We were able to deliver artificial limbs and support devices to 3,600 patients, whereas around 81,000 physiotherapy patients with their follow-up visits have benefited from these centers. It was a great help for the area where there is no concept of physiotherapy, even in major cities in Pakistan. The demand for physical rehab services was even greater, as there existed no such center anywhere in the entire region prior to the October the 8th, 2005 disaster. HHRD reviewed the situation and decided to extend its services to the people living in the entire region suffering from all kinds of musculoskeletal and neuromuscular disorders, including cerebral palsy, polio, stroke, head injuries, fractures, TEVs, spinal injuries, and other congenital and acquired anomalies and deformities, irrespective of the fact whether they were direct earthquake victims or not. HHRD now decided to extend its services both in vertical as well as horizontal directions, improving our existing centers by increasing their capacity and adding more services like speech-language pathology, psychotherapy, social services, skills development, and community integration on one hand, and establishing small satellite centers all over the country on the other. As its first mega-project, HHRD has already started the construction of a purpose-built building rehabilitation complex to meet the long-term needs of physical rehab in the region. HHRD also initiated Institute of Rehab and Medical Sciences IRMS, to meet the ever-growing demand of allied medical professionals like nurses, physiotherapy, health, x-ray, and lab technicians, also serving as the first step towards self-reliance in the future to come. We have uh, started this project in 2010, and the, this project is worth $1.7 million, and uh, all facilities will be available under one roof. This rehab complex is without a doubt a grand project, which once completed will not only serve the area in and around Monsetta, but to the rest of the country's population who can benefit from such rare available medical and rehab services. Outfitted with the latest technology providing the most modern services, the construction of this medical and rehab complex cannot be completed without patrons such as yourself, and with your gracious support, we can realize the completion of this great project. Thousands of people can benefit from your support, which will help them lead independent and full lives functioning normally within society. It is an expensive treatment and not an easy task to rehabilitate disabled persons and enable them to stand on their feet and live a normal life. HHRD is trying to keep these services continued. You can support one unlucky person recover from their physical handicap with the health of prosthesis. Your assistance will go towards helping your physically handicapped elders, brothers, sisters and children return to a life of happiness and normalcy. For more information, visit www.hhrd.org or call 1-888-808-HELP.